Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Steve Alexander and I'm going to show you my latest strategy today. It's called Alex Trend and it works on uh, a number of different um, symbols and time frames <clears throat> and uh, it has no parameters other than the amount of money that you start out with. And that's right here. It's to twenty-five thousand dollars. This chart we're trading SPXL. That's the triple spy, and this is a five-minute chart. I'll blow the chart up a little bit here, and you can see what it looks like. So it's going along like that. This is a losing trade. The winning trades are in blue. And the strategy is actually quite simple. I, I will show you the easy language for it. But essentially, we're looking for trends, and that's why it's called Alex Trend. And a trend is defined, as most of you know, uh, higher highs and higher lows, or lower highs and lower lows. So you can check any two bars on the chart and determine if there's a trend at that moment or not. Uh, for example, oh, let's just pick right here. This is the high and this is the low. And here's the high over here and the low over here. So you can see that the high of the second bar is lower than the previous high. So we may be on to a, a downtrend rather than an uptrend. And here's the low, but the low here is lower. So what we have here is a lower high uh, and a lower low. So this is a downtrend. So that would be in my language here. I've defined it as a downtrend is minus one, an uptrend is plus one. And we here have the case right here where this bar, the high is lower than the previous high. So this, this is a higher high between these two bars right here and a higher low because this is the low and that's the low. So we have a higher high and a higher low that defines an uptrend. Okay, so now let's get into what's uh, going on and how the trades are taken. As you can see, it takes trades along here um, every few bars. Uh, typically, typically, it'll do oh, maybe eight or ten trades in one day. And the zeros are all the times that we sell. So here's what's going on. I'm going to open up the easy language here. And in the easy language, what we're looking for here is, first of all, find the trend. And right, what, here, what we have here is, if the high is greater than the high of yesterday, and the low is also greater than the low of yesterday, then trend is equal to 1. Just very simple, that's all there is to it. If the high is less than the high of yesterday and the low is less than the low of yesterday, uh, two days ago, sorry, uh, then the trend is minus one. So after this little bit of code, the trend is either going to be identified as a one or a minus one. One or the other. And it'll just stay there until something changes it. Uh, like if you come along the next bar, the high is higher than the previous one and the low is lower than the previous one, then that'll change the, train, the trend back to one. Now, how about for entering trades? We start and say, if market position is equal to zero. In other words, if you're already in the market and the trend is greater than zero, in other words, it's one, then um, you, you can buy shares next bar at the market. Market position equals zero means you're not in the market. You don't have a position. So if you're not in the market and the trend is greater than zero, then buy next next share, the, the next bar. Very simple. If you're not in the market and the trend turns to one, buy. Okay, next thing that happens, if, if uh, market position greater than zero, in other words, you are in the market, you've got a position, and the trend goes negative, trend less than zero, the, and the uh, three-day average and the five-day average, if the three days less than the five-day, then you sell all the shares in uh, this bar at the close of this bar. And then the last thing 
is uh, it has an end of day uh, stop on it. You don't want to be in overnight. So to keep you from being in overnight, if the time is greater than 12.50 and you have a market position, then just sell it. So that's all that's going on here. And there's the easy language for it. And I'll close that up. And here's how it does. So looking back several days here, this is the 27th. Uh, today is the 29th. So there's 27th, 28th, 29th. Uh, incidentally, at the end of the day, if you're not in the market at that time, then you won't get an end of day sale. So there we are. You're already out, so it, it's basically just don't hold overnight. Over here, however, right here at the end of the day um, on the 20 uh, the, the, the 26th so on the 26th back here you were going along you got in the market you were buying and you came over here but then we got to sell so we got out on on that day and that's the end of day sale that's what that's all about okay I'll go back to the regular chart and uh, so let's see how it did. Uh, and what I've got here is I've got a, the SPXL and I've got it. We're looking at the first date uh, of, of this run is the 1st of January, 2020. So during this, what we've got here is the month of January so far. So I'll get out of that and let's look at the performance report. What we're showing here is a total net profit of $1,927, $1,927 uh, from the 1st of January until now. So in one month, we made $1,927, and uh, our average, our, our total net profit adjusted was $577. Here's the trades. We made 155 trades. And 68 of them were profit. So uh, a little fewer of them are profitable than not. So more of the trades lose than win. However, when it does win, it wins 90, average $99 per trade. And the average losing trade is $59 per trade. So on average, we're going to make uh, 40 bucks every trade. Uh, here's what the performance graph looks like. As you can see, we start off over here at the first of the month with, with no profit. And then right away, we got a, a, a good trade and made $700. Then the next uh, couple of days, or a couple of trades, excuse me, uh, we're up to $740. And then another few trades, we're up to $766. So that's that's how it's going. la da da da, -da. Uh, and then there are some drawdowns. The worst one is right here from 1996 all the way down to 1434. That's a $500 drawdown. And that $500 drawdown is on a profit of $1,504. So I say that's not too bad. We're uh, 1504 and a 500 drawdown. Um, periodical returns. If we look at those, I'll just say uh, like... Um, daily, for example. How have we done uh, on average? So it's been uh, 29 days, and here's the average profit, or the profit per day, every day. And as you see, you've got some losses there, 270, 260, 41 bucks. That, all those reds are in losses, the others are gains, but uh, all in all, it's made $1,500. So I think that's pretty good. Weekly, how is it done week by week? Well, here's the week by week. First uh, uh, first week would be the week of 1-5. It made 800. Then it made 300. It made 69. made 196. So every week has been profitable so far. And uh, how has it done for the entire month? The return on initial capital, the, the monthly profit, 8% this month. And so if that's enough for you, make 8% a month, uh, you know, in a year that's 94%, I guess. So that's pretty good. It trades on five-minute bars, so every five minutes it's going to 
buy or sell. It's, it's automatic. You don't have to do anything except set the trade to running. No parameters. Just $25,000. That's what we're trading. If you trade more, you'll the profits will be bigger and the losses will be bigger. And that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. And it's uh, profitable, so kind of like that. Uh, I'll put my email address here on uh, the screen. So if you feel like writing to me, uh, you're welcome to. I'm always glad to talk with people. Um, so I'm glad to hear from you. My Skype name, if you want to talk to me on Skype, is stav.alex. Very simple. Let me put that up there. So that's about it for now. Um, Happy trading to you. I hope you do well. And uh, if this appeals to you, well, great. I hope so. Take care.